wrecked. Boom, double Q. Is the iPhone 14 Pro Max a better phone for gaming than the S22 Ultra from Samsung? Well, that is exactly the question that I'm gonna answer in this video, and I'm gonna focus on three main things. Average FPS, the battery life, and display dimming. As you can see, I have both of them set to the same settings with Bluetooth off, adaptive display brightness turned off. I matched up the brightness on both of them using the top camera to make sure they're both at the same amount of nits. And as you can see, they're both plugged into this MacBook Pro at 100% battery life. And the reason I have this MacBook Pro set up right here is because I am using Wii Tests perf dog fps counter which basically you plug in one of these smartphones and it measures the average fps the cpu usage and more so we can track exactly the fps that we got in each of the games that we play because we're playing three different games for one hour each and after each hour we're gonna see the battery life on each phone and with that said let's go ahead and start with the galaxy s22 ultra all right, now, as you can see, we are starting at 1.42, so one hour from now, we're gonna come back. And there you go, let's turn on our FPS counter now that we're in the game. And just to show you guys the graphic settings, we have very high and set to max. It looks like we were actually sitting there at 30 FPS in the menu, so I'm actually gonna turn this off and just restart it again as soon as the game starts to make sure it's gathering the average FPS correctly. There you go. We're in game 60 FPS, just started the counter. All right, here we go. Ooh! Oh, snap. By the way, this is ranked. Should be a little bit more difficult. Of course, I love how this tiny little camera cut out. You could barely see it. So this entire time, we've been sitting between 59 and 60 FPS, so. Perfect, no issues so far. All right, there's some guys up here. Ooh, gotcha, Avenger. Shouldn't have turned around, buddy. I'm gonna try to play about 20 minutes of this game total before I get onto the next one. Perfect, oh, I do see a couple of frame drops right there in terms of the FPS, a little bit. And by the way, if you guys enjoy that 60 FPS, video quality, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. Now, one of the things that bugs me is that it's easy to block the speaker port right here, like like that, if you're holding it, which is kind of annoying, especially since the bottom speaker is quite a bit louder than the earpiece. Oh, that was the final kill! <laughs> Now one thing I don't really like about this phone is that the uh, edges are kind of, corners are boxy, so you can't really wrap your finger around it that easily, I guess, so it's not as comfortable. Was that a double knife? <laughs> Woo! Boom! Double kill! What? Get wrecked! Another one. All right, there you go. That game was about 15 or so minutes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop this. And I have the data file right here for Call of Duty, but I'm gonna wait until the conclusion to show you guys the difference. And now let's move over to the iPhone. Let's go ahead and unplug it for the battery life test. And let's get right into COD Mobile. Let's go ahead and turn on the FPS tracker right there. And as you can see, our time is at 3.23, so one hour from now, we're gonna stop it and look at the FPS. Ooh, those speakers are good. Okay, right off the bat, I can hear better quality speakers, and of course, you see the big pill-shaped cutout right over there, much more intrusive than the S22 Ultra's little camera hole. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys the graphics settings. As you can see, very high in max, just like the S22 Ultra. Now I am noticing that the earpiece speaker is for sure louder than on the S22. Now honestly, it does kind of seem like the whoo, FPS is kind of not perfectly smooth, to be honest. Yeah, there you go, not too bad. It's not perfect 60. It might actually be worse than the S22 Ultra so far. Still at maximum brightness, no dimming yet. And just like the S22, it does go down to 30 FPS for the menu, so that will impact the average FPS a bit. Now, one thing I do like about the iPhone compared to the S22 is that you have these rounded corners compared to the boxy corners on the S22, so it kind of like wraps around 
your finger and it's more convenient to hold, kind of like a game controller, honestly. You did. Woo! We running everywhere. We ain't stopping. Still, we got some variants in the FPS around 55 to 60, so surprisingly, it seems like it's not as smooth as the S22. Brightness still maxed out. I'm not seeing any dimming. Got that guy. Yeah, triple kill! So at this moment, I'm starting to feel the back of the iPhone heat up just a little bit. Oh! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 50 to 10! That's what I'm talking about. Brightness, still great. Ooh, 92 rating. And there you go, that was almost 20 minutes in COD Mobile. So let's go ahead and pause this right here, turn that off. Now getting into the next game on the S22 Ultra, we have League of Legends Wild Rift. There you go, let's turn on the FPS counter right there, go into the graphic settings. As you can see, we have it set to custom, 60 FPS, super high on the graphics quality, post-processing on, effects high and dynamic resolution off so it doesn't adjust it if it needs to. We're gonna put the most amount of stress on this. And let's do some ARAM. And now I'm starting to feel the S22 Ultra get a little bit hot on the back, so it seems like it's getting a good load on it. So far we're sitting at a solid 60 FPS, which is expected for this game. Keep in mind the last game I'm gonna play is Genshin Impact, which is the most demanding, so don't forget about that. Looking at Perf Dog, it's been basically solid 60 FPS, non-stop. No dimming so far on this phone, which is great, and it doesn't even feel that hot. The interesting thing is definitely gonna be the battery life, hands down. What? He destroyed me. Oh, got wrecked again. Oh, got him. Oh, he got me. Doing a quick brightness checkup. Still at maximum brightness, no issues. Oh, come on, let's go. Woo, we did it. Look at that comeback, we don't surrender. Boom, MVP for triple kills, come on, man. Yeah. All right, so that was almost 20 minutes on Wild Rift. Let's go ahead and pause that right there. Stop the recording. There you go. And now here we are in Wild Rift on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. 60 FPS frame rate, super high graphics quality, super high there. High on the FX, post-processing and dynamic off. Everything identical to the S22 Ultra. Let's do some ARAM. Honestly guys, the speaker difference alone is huge. Like, oh, just even balance between the earpiece and the bottom speaker. Completely different than the S22, which is just so out of balance and just the quality, big improvement. Run, no! Come on, man. Still sitting at really good FPS. Just like the S22, we're sitting at basically 59 to 60 FPS. We're having no issues with brightness. So sometimes I am seeing it go down to like 52, 55. Wow, I was not expecting that on the iPhone. Really interesting. We're kind of getting wrecked, guys. Give me somebody fun. Lucian, yeah! Oh, he wrecked me! So just like the S22 Ultra, no issues yet in terms of performance. Woo! No! All right, well, that was that. Around 20 minutes there, let's go ahead and stop that recording. And now for the rest of the time that we have, the rest of the hour, about 20 minutes left, we're gonna play Genshin. So we just got in, we're still at maximum brightness, super nice and bright, no issues at all. However, the FPS, unlike the other two games, we're sitting at, what is that, 43, 46, 42 FPS. Right off the bat, it is lower. Now let me show you the graphics settings that we have. We're at custom with everything set to basically the highest 60 FPS motion blur is off. So it is like insanely high in terms of the FPS and we'll see if it goes up or down over time. And we definitely are not getting 60 FPS in this game. So I guess we'll see. What if the iPhone 14 Pro Max gets a solid 60? That'll be interesting. And I do feel the frame starting to drop a bit now. 45 definitely doesn't feel perfectly smooth. Oh, that's so annoying. Look. 
so easy to block the speakers. It seems like we actually got some dimming, guys, because I'm getting dropped frames right now. Oh, grab that. Yeah, I got the crystal core. Yep, it is definitely dimmer. Let me see if it actually reflected that over here. No, look, it's still. However, oh, look how much it dimmed. Look, if you adjust it like this, it just stops getting brighter. So the S22 is definitely dimmed and it is hot. The back is getting really, really hot. Actually, you can see C temp right here. It shows 61 degrees Celsius right there, which is probably the chip temp, which is cool that on an Android, you have the USB debugging mode, 63 degrees Celsius. It's getting hot and it has dimmed officially. We'll have to see what dims more. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with the iPhone after playing this. Woo, run, 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 run! All right, looking at FPS, we're still at about, oh, I just saw 38 right there, 44, 36. Nowhere near 60 FPS, man. So the display has definitely dimmed down. Still very hot and we're still getting pretty low FPS. Look at the brightness, look, I'm adjusting it like this, no difference until we see about right here. This is where you see a difference. But at the high end, no difference at all. That means it dims down to around, what is that, like 50% brightness it's dimming down to? Yep. And there you guys go. It has now been a full hour, as you guys can see, 242. And let me go ahead and turn off the FPS counter. In the moment of truth, we're looking at 80% battery life on the S22 Ultra after a full hour of gaming and the display did dim down. All right, now here we are in Genshin on the iPhone. Let me go into the graphics settings. As you can see, the same as on the S22 Ultra, everything basically to the highest 60 FPS with motion blur turned off. Getting right into it, brightness is nice and super bright. We'll see if it dims over time. Oh, it actually undimmed. It was a little bit dim, but look, it undimmed. That was kind of odd. Wow, look at that FPS, guys. 57, 56, I even saw 60 right there. What? The S22 was at like 45-ish. Boom, 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 boom. Now it does have its occasional dips, but honestly, I don't even think it hit 44 yet or 40 like the uh, S22 did. Very good performance so far. Uh-oh, who's this dude? Oh, snap, man! Vaporize you, and then I'ma wreck you. Boom! And surprisingly, usually at this moment, I feel like the uh, old iPhone 13 Pro Max would already dim. It's actually a, a very good gaming experience so far. Are you kidding me? I just died, man! Still great FPS, speakers sound awesome. Wow, guys, it's like barely dimming. <laughs> this did not happen on the 13 Pro Max, guys. Oh. Oh, there you go, it just dimmed. I was feeling to get hot. I wonder if this is darker than the S22. All right, and there you go, it's been just over an hour, 425 on the iPhone. We're looking at 82% battery life. And with that said, the iPhone also beats it in a lot of the battery tests, so it can do more with the remaining 82 compared to 80 on the S22 Ultra. And there you guys go, that was our gameplay. And now let's get into the final conclusion, which phone is better at gaming. Well, looking at the battery life results, after one hour of gaming on each phone, the S22 Ultra ended at 80%, while the iPhone ended at 82, so it's pretty close. However, the iPhone does win a lot of the battery tests by a good margin, so the iPhone is still the battery champ for gaming. Now let's look at the FPS before we talk about the dimming. So here we are on Perf Dog's website, and by the way, it's currently 20% off, so use the link below if you're interested. It's not working to open the actual data sheet for some reason, so I'm just gonna use this main page. Now, on the S22 Ultra in Call of Duty, we had 55.7 FPS compared to 53.1 on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is pretty interesting. It might be because it goes down to 30 FPS in the menu, so maybe I spent more time loading and waiting in the menu. So it's basically around the same with the S22 Ultra being a little bit better. Then we have Wild Rift, 58.9 for the S22 Ultra and 58.3 for the iPhone, so it's just ever so slightly better on the S22, but here's the main difference. Genshin Impact, 
The S22 had 43.7 average FPS compared to 57.5, and that was the really, really demanding game. So with that said, overall, the iPhone takes the cake for FPS right there in Genshin, huge difference. And seeing as it won in the battery life test as well, that is very impressive that it got more FPS overall. And then finally, in terms of display dimming, both phones had absolutely zero issues in Call of Duty and Wild Rift, however, in Genshin Impact, both of them dimmed down, and maybe the iPhone did get a little bit darker just right there at the end of my testing, but the S22 Ultra did dim down almost to around 50%, so they're basically the same, and taking all of that together, combining the FPS, the battery life, and the dimming, I would say that the iPhone 14 Pro Max is definitely the winner, and it is the best gaming phone, especially since there are more more games that support 120 FPS than on Android, so this takes the cake. If you totally disagree with me, then let me know down in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed the video, click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.